Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's episode, we will set up Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi. We will go through installation procedure, give a quick look on what integrations are supported, and also we will add the Unify controller to the Home Assistant as an add-on. So stay tuned. First, we need to go to Home Assistant website. As you can see, Home Assistant is a system to observe, control and automate. Let's give a quick look at integrations. As you can see, plenty of options here. But the most important, KNX is also supported. Now let's go to getting started. Select alternative installation methods. Scroll a little bit down and select method Home Assistant. Here we will select the file for Raspberry Pi and let's wait for the download to complete. Once the file has been downloaded, we need to write it to the SD card. We will use Etcher for this. Select the file, make sure that SD card is the correct one and press flash. Once flashing is finished, we insert SD card to Raspberry Pi and connect the Raspberry Pi to network and power supplied it in order to boot up. Now it's time to navigate to the web interface of Home Assistant. For this, we need to type the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and use port 8123. As you can see, Home Assistant is preparing, so let's wait a couple of minutes. Ok, now it's ready. At this point, we need to create a user. So, let's type a name, username and the password and press create account. On the next step, we are going to specify our home location. By pressing detect button, we are getting a more accurate estimation. Of course, we can change our location later. Press next and then finish. As you can see, home assistant configuration is completed and this is the main interface. On the left side, we have some options like map, logbook and history. We will go through details on the next video where we have plenty of integrations. For now, we can go to Supervisor. And then to Add-on Store, where we can find, as we said, plenty of options. PI Hall, where we reviewed on previous video, is also available here. Today, we will focus on a very useful add-on which is the Unify controller. So, we just need to open it and press install. After a couple of minutes, installation is completed and we have the option to start it. After pressing start, the option to open web interface is available. So let's press it. As you can see, Unify controller is not running. So let's go back and scroll down to log session. By pressing refresh, we can see the logs. Okay, it seems that we have a problem. As you can see, SSL certificates is not available. 
In order to fix this, the easiest way is to go to Config Session and set SSL to false. Let's press Save and restart Unify Controller. Now, let's go again to log section and press refresh. Ok, it seems that we have a warning but controller has started. So, let's try again. This time, Unify controller is ready. Let's accept the risk and boom! Our controller on Home Assistant is ready. We need to provide the name for the controller, accept the terms of use and press next. On the next step, we need to sign in with our Ubiquiti account and press next again. Similar steps like in every Unify controller installation. So let's create a testing Wi-Fi network and press next. Review the configuration and then press finish. It will take some seconds and now our Unify controller is ready. That's it, we have a fully working Unify controller running on Home Assistant as an add-on. If you find this video useful, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching, see you on the next video with plenty of Home Assistant integrations.